Welcome to Everything EV with Mike. Today we'd like to share with you the first efficiency data and update. Listen closely to the details. Here's Steve. Hi, Aptera fans. Steve here. We've had an incredible month of momentum, so let's dive in. First up, the team had a great show at Interbattery in Korea where thousands of people were introduced to Aptera for the first time. We also met with key suppliers to deepen relationships as we move closer to production. If you haven't seen the trip recap, check out the video in the top right. Next, we had the opportunity to display Aptera's body structure in Paris alongside Mitsubishi at JEC World, one of the largest international showcases of composite material innovation. A big thank you to both Mitsubishi and CPC for their support in making that happen. And now for the really exciting part. We took Hermes, our track testing vehicle, on an epic solar road trip, starting in snowy Flagstaff, Arizona, and ending in the sun-soaked Imperial Valley. Hermes handled everything from mountain passes, desert winds, to highway cruising, all on a single charge, with solar power assisting the journey. If you haven't watched the full journey, please be sure to click the link at the top right. I can attest to you, you won't want to miss this adventure. Now, Hermes wasn't built for road trips. It was built to be disassembled and tested and refined and iterated on. It's a track testing vehicle meant to validate critical systems, but we couldn't resist taking it out on a 315 mile drive through I-40 and the Route 66 anyway. This wasn't intended to be a range test, but of course we ran the numbers anyway. Keep in mind, Hermes is a bit heavier than our design intent weight due to some of the steel metal components. And it's missing a few aerodynamic treatments, especially around the control arm. So drag was up and weight was up and efficiency wasn't expected to break any records. But before we get to the results, let's have a quick look at the EV landscape. This graph shows the most popular EVs on the market today, ranked by energy efficiency. On the far end, you've got the F-150 Lightning, on the high efficiency end, there's the Lucid Air and Tesla Model 3. And yet Hermes delivered an impressive 122 watt hours per mile. That's about twice as efficient as today's most efficient EVs. And it even outperformed Volkswagen's legendary XL1, a carbon fiber diesel electric hyper efficient marvel from the 2010s. That vehicle costs over a billion dollars to develop. We've now surpassed it on real roads, under real conditions, with a fraction of the budget and no special optimization. This wasn't a lab test or a carefully controlled EPA cycle. It was a highway driving, elevation changes, overtaking, real traffic, exactly the kind of driving up here was built for. And we didn't even start with a full battery pack. Even though we didn't orient Hermes for ideal solar charging, the panel still added 2.4 kilowatt hours of energy during the trip enough to cover 20 miles using nothing but the power of the sun. And that was on a partly cloudy day, not peak summer. What's especially significant is that most of this energy was harvested while the vehicle was in motion through varying sunlight and shaded conditions. Who else can say they charge while driving? We're incredibly encouraged by these results. Hermes is still heavier than the launch edition vehicle, but based on our internal models, once we reduce weight to production spec, Aptera's efficiency should land exactly where we hoped, or even better. We're not celebrating just yet, but this marks a strong and exciting step forward. And it brings us even closer to delivering solar mobility to the world. But remember, this wasn't a full range test, just a validation run. The real testing begins with PI3, codename Gemini. While PI4, codenamed Artemis, is being prepared for road trips this summer, Gemini is coming together with the production weight components. That means aluminum instead of steel for certain parts. So it can hit the weight targets we've been designing for. This is a vehicle that will go through full efficiency testing, designed to deliver the range and efficiency figures that we expect your launch edition at Terra to achieve. As we've said in the past updates, we'll be driving it from a full charge to 0% battery on a closed track with a third party validating the results. Our battery modules are being completed for integration into the next packs, and the full wire harness is scheduled for installation in PI4 next week. This marks the beginning of a fully feature complete production intent vehicle inside and out. Every system you can expect on your Aptair, including the vision system, infotainment, and climate control will be in this vehicle. We plan to do a road trip across the US this summer to meet Aptair reservation holders and supporters in person with this amazing vehicle. Stay tuned for more details on that soon. Now, 
I want to share details on a contest that we're running. Thanks to you, Aptera is now the second most engaged EV brand on YouTube, right behind Tesla. And to celebrate that, we're launching a YouTube subscription contest. If you subscribe to the Aptera YouTube channel and leave a comment on the road trip video, you'll be entered to win a free reservation, free tent kit, and a $100 merch coupon. A solar prize pack worth about 800 bucks. So don't miss your chance to win. And may the odds be in your favor. Finally, our finance team has been working hard on the plan to get us into production. We'll be pulling back the curtain in the next week or so, sharing insights on the different financial levers that we're using to make this a reality. We think you're really gonna like what we have in store. Thanks for being on this journey with us. See you soon. Wow, charges while driving? That's incredible. Will Aptera be coming to the East Coast this summer? We'll have to wait and see. Get ready, world. Here we come. Any comments, please leave below. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click the notification bell and get ready to be amazed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.